All right, y'all. <clears throat> What's cracking? All right, I'm going to put this down a little bit. What's up, baby? I love you. All right. What's up, collective? Um, let's just, okay, so let's give some thanks to the Most High God for bringing us here for these messages today. Nigga looking a little Puerto Rican or Cuban today in this bitch, huh? <laughs> it's so funny, though. Thank you to the most high God for giving me spiritual eyes to see some shit. You feel me? Because like um, I was in the mirror yesterday or well, the day before yesterday and I had on that, that hat that's all fucked up now. I'm just going to keep it. I'm just going to keep I'm not going to send it back. It kind of looks kind of funky, a little bohemian. I like that shit. But I looked in the mirror and it's so fucked up because like I was looking and I was like, God damn. <laughs> it's like a nigga is uh, not all the way bl or something. But look, let me scoot over some. I found a baby picture, y'all. Look at that fella. Ain't he cute? It looked just like me still. It kind of looks the same, though. But um, I'm not going to show the other two people in the picture, of course, because I didn't ask them and, you know, whatever. But it's my mother and my sister in the picture. But uh, look at that little fella. Yeah, a little alien baby, huh? Head full of hair, baby. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the curls and shit. They, they say my uncle told me that she cut all had immediately like had, had him cut all that shit off. He said I had the prettiest, curliest, softest, curliest hair, and she made him cut it off, baby. You can't hide the truth with a haircut, mom. That's what I heard. <laughs> shit. Oh hell no. Nah. I ain't gonna lie though, I'm kind of scared to get like one of them DNA tests. I, you know, I'm not being directed to get one quite yet. I don't know. You know, I think a lot of, a lot of uh, answers we look for. You ever been, you, have you ever, I mean, let's just have a moment of. Let's just have a moment of honesty with spiritual savage. So, there are two things that I'm very leery about doing. One of them is the um, Ancestry.com shit because um, I already saw how sideways that can go. Like, for real. Um, I give you guys a good tip, though. If you, if you want to know, if you want to know, if, if you suspect that there's something going on with your family... Um, as far as your DNA or, you know, a lineage or whatever, do, 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 do this though. Create an account with ancestry.com. It gives you a nice free trial for 14 days and do it and, and, and see when you start typing in shit, the last name, you get all kind of shit that pops up people that, you know, the, the, the tree, because a lot of these people, um, with the plan that I feel like, you know, as far as what's going on with me, a lot of these people created like the gang stalkers, the, the the false friends, the lovers. They created everybody created an account to to talk to so that they can communicate with family. Cause you can do that too. You can send messages back and forth with people on Ancestry.com. Somebody need to hear that. I just heard ding. Like ding. There's a light bulb that just went off and somebody said, When you see this message, you're gonna go, fuck. Let me go ahead. Cause I'm telling you now. Now, the funny thing is this. Because there are a lot of narcs that watch my channel and that know you watch my channel. So create you an Ancestry.com account. See the communication between people who are supposed to be your family. Recognize some of the variations of names. I mean, I, I, when I see things, I see things with my third eye a lot of times or all the time, really. But a lot of the times, like when people have created um, false profiles um, for spying and whatnot, I can read the name and go, I know who that is. Cause you know, people, people tend to use the same kind of monikers or variations of their names. Or they use names of people that they're related to. Even the pictures, you know, but create you an ancestry.com account, do the free trial. See, um, See what comes up when you put in your family's information and then go to the community where these conversations have occurred. Very insightful. 
but I'm afraid to do the DNA test just because I believe it's kind of it's you know my life. The thing about the thing about me, and I'm not saying like you know I'm all that or whatever. It is not what this is about, or that I'm you know this is not a narcissistic grandiose kind of uh, thought process about how um, you know everything revolves around me. But I just kind of feel like once it's sent there, I don't know what's going to come back. I really don't. And, and and the reason why I say that as well is because there was a moment where. Um, then the, the Mayo Clinic sent me a, a DNA test. I just like out of the blue that they wanted to get this DNA. Uh, so they, they said that they were going to test me for rare blood type diseases, which should have been my first indication that there's something there's something different about my blood. I don't even know my blood type, you know. Um, but then it was also very clear to me, like at that point, it's like somebody somewhere wanted something with my DNA. So that what does that mean? My name's already flagged somewhere in probably some system, database, whatever. Call me a paranoid schizophrenic, whatever the fuck you want to. It doesn't matter because I know what happened to me. But then also, too, the 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 title, the way that the, the it was labeled for my return when I was to return, like in the return kit, it said non-exempt human specimen. No, exempt human specimen. It didn't say non-exempt. It said exempt human specimen. Because sometimes, you know, when we talk about exempt and non-exempt, uh, so exempt. Alexa, what's the definition of exempt? Exempt can be used as a verb, adjective, or noun. Its primary meaning is to free someone from obligation or liability. The word is often used to describe someone who is released or not subject to a certain obligation or duty. Go on. <sighs> to be exempt from something. Okay, let me just look this up. Sorry, y'all. Oh, it's there too. Look at that. Exempt human specimens are patient specimens that have a low probability of containing of containing pathogens and are not subject to other shipping regulations. What? Okay. Interesting. Hmm. How the fuck do they know what somebody has or doesn't have, though? You feel me? I don't know. I read it. I read all up in, excuse me, my nose is itching. I read all up into that, though. Factors such as the known medical history and symptoms are considered, but how, but that, that's what they wanted. You see what I'm saying? That just seemed kind of weird. Anyway, they didn't get, I didn't. Oh, there's an ant. Uh oh. Ant season. That's significant. Damn, an ant? What happened? Karma, get. Nope. You, you're gonna get down. Nope. That's enough. Fucking bite me and shit. Spiritual significance of ants. You know, I don't have a problem with ants. I'm getting to the 844 when I look down. So. Ants can have a spiritual significance, represent a variety of elements, including contentment, peace, and loss. For example, black ants are generally considered a good omen, while red ants are seen as a sign of bad luck. The power of cooperation and collaboration in our life. It's, yeah, because ants work together quite harmoniously. So, you know, uh, yeah, I'll take that. All right, so that's just weird, though. So what does that mean? Um... Damn, I gotta get something for the ants now. I don't like to. I hate to kill ants, cause they, they, they. Ants are ants seem to have always kind of put me in a mindset of people who, um, just like a, they're just minding their own business, creating big ass communities and shit. But you know, I don't like to really bother ants. I don't like to kill them either, cause they just seem to be minding their own business most of the time. But you know, when when we have to protect our home, now I'm itching and shit. Damn, I hate when that happens. But let's get on with this. Exhibit human specimens, DNA testing kits, whatever the case may be. I don't, I don't fucking trust them. Okay, I don't trust them. 
That's just the way I look at shit. But on to the message. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? I um, I'm working on personal readings today, so you should be you know if you ordered a personal reading from me or scheduled one, however you want to look at it, uh, you will be receiving your uh, personal uh, reading uh, today or tomorrow, between today and tomorrow. Okay. So I was. Um, That's gonna bother me. I gotta go get some some of that. You know, there's the, the stuff you can buy. It's like a it's like a a, a, a solution, or like a syrup, and they they eat that and then they take it back and then they all die, which is sad. I don't really like to do that. That's what I'm saying. But you know, it's not it's not okay either because you know I got cat food down here. They be all in the cat bowls and shit. There, you know, they just responding on however you know that's what they do. That's what people do. Whatever. But I heard revenge. And then I heard V for vendetta. So somebody has a vendetta against you. There's a message, this message would, you know, revenge. So I wrote it down, revenge. And then we got V for vendetta. Somebody's name could start with the letter V, first, last, middle, initial. So somebody has a, a vendetta against you and they are plotting revenge. So this could be a heads up. We're going to use the dark mirror deck. One, two, three on the clock. It's 12.31 p.m. on April, uh, not April, May 1st. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Got to get that money, man. That's two different songs, I believe. No, for the love of money. That's too many cards. Colorless Angel, number 10. All right. It fell out in the reverse, but we're going to take it in the upright nonetheless. Um, the Colorless Angel is somebody that's been drained, doesn't have any life left in them. 10 is very significant, an ending. Somebody wants to cause you an ending. Somebody wants to drain you of some type of life force. Somebody could really be plotting to take your motherfucking life. Confirmation. Okay. Mm -mm. Hold on, y'all, because this is bothering me. I got to just make sure there's ants ain't in the food. Hold on. Thank you for holding. Better ants than roaches. I'm just saying, okay? Because <laughs> uh, that would be a problem for me. You know, I'm not even, no, I'm not going to say that. Okay. Well, yes, I will. Fuck it. I mean, if you put two, two together, the motherfucker really want me to move out. All they do is put some roaches up in this bitch. And it wouldn't be a question. Okay? I do not like roaches. I don't think anybody likes roaches except other roaches. You feel me? So, this person could have roaches. They could. This person is dealing with some type of drug addiction as well with 11 here. 10 and 11. This person refuses to atone for something. 31. This person has, is, has, and has gone cold of heart with the artificial heart here. My nose is itching again. 31. It told me this person could be the age 31. Doesn't have to be. But this person uh, refuses to. This person refuses to atone for something. I feel like this person feels like you are responsible for something that they are responsible for. You know, it's kind of like a projection. You feel me? Let's use a slang flash card here. And then we'll get some signs out. We'll see if we get some signs out. Okay? You know, there's nothing worse than the motherfucker that... Okay, so you get somebody that does something to you. Hold on. All right, my bad. So it's kind of like somebody that... Let's say if somebody is going to... Say somebody got a lot of hatred for you. And they say, well, I'm going to buy me a gun. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's say somebody says, I'm going to buy me a gun and I'm going to black. I'm going to take this person out. Like, I'm just using that as an example. <sighs> this person is, has a fear of missing out or something. So they're choosing to ride or die on your ass. I cannot make this shit up. Listen, savage. I can't make this shit up in the reverse. Somebody's a bad. Somebody is going savage on that ass. Somebody who's your, really your stand. In that order, Apple Orchard. Okay, we're going to read these uh, the examples on these cards as well. But let's say somebody says, I'm going to get a gun and I'm going to you know, do whatever I'm going to do to this person. 
So they go on the dark web to order a gun. You know, because you, you just can't order guns offline. You got to, you know, because of the whole kind of need to blah, 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 blah. At least I don't think so, but they go to the dark web to order a gun. So they order the gun and they get a knock at the door. Who is it? It's the FBI. I need you to open up. I don't know who shows up. I heard I heard the feds show up at your door if you get caught on the dark web. And then they get arrested. And then they, you know, whatever. Then they go, well, it's if 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 it's that person's fault. That's what I feel like has happened here. Somebody got caught doing something towards you. And then they want to blame you for whatever punishment they have or whatever kind of karma they have, whatever kind of problems they have. OK, so we got somebody that's uh, fear of missing out. Um, fear of missing out. Ride or die. Even after graduation, you'll always be my ride or die. So this could have been somebody that you grew up with. Uh huh. This could have been somebody that you used to be very close with. Damn, I didn't. I didn't realize that's what it was gonna say. And it says ride or dies. So dies. So this could be more than one person, but I'm picking up heavily just on one person, though. But I'm picking up on the fact that you know this person very well. Maybe y'all was on a cheerleading squad. Maybe y'all played sports together. Extremely close, a loyal friend or romantic partner. Bay, BFF, bestie, boo, real one, ROD. Also see crew, squad, my main, honey dip. Ride or die to commit to another person without concern or difficult danger or, le or legality. Loyal as fuck. For reals, Roe Deep, Bonnie and Clyde. That could be very significant for somebody. Bonnie and Clyde? Are we talking about two people here? We could be talking about two people. We could literally be talking about two people. Two people that at one point in time you were very close with. Or two. A stand. Oh, let's watch the Karate Kid. I stand young Ralph Macchio. To be dedicated and or obsessive fan, fanboying, fangirling. Also a dedicated and or obsessive fan, usually of an entertainer, celebrity, music group, or entity. A fan be geek, nerd, Comic-Con, cosplay, news, groupie, SWF, single white female, okay? Uh, misery or stalker. Those are movies. And then we got Savage. Savage. But it was in the reverse. Oh my God, Sheila, your takedown of that entitled douche was savage. As they, as they run. Mm -hmm. Fiercely awesome or badass. Usually in reaction to a remark deemed wickedly pointed at some uh, and with some degree of truth. Savage. Also see boss ass bitch, fierce as fuck, throw shade and ruthless. This came out in the reverse. So this is the opposite of that. This is somebody who... Um, Probably a douchebag. Like, they probably feel like you're a douchebag or this person's a douchebag. Feels fiercely awesome or badass. That's in the reverse. This person is whack as fuck. These people are whack as fuck. I said what I said. These people are whack as fuck. These people would be that person in the back. I, I encourage everybody to embody their inner savage um, when dealing with these kinds of people. You don't have to be, you don't have to be wicked and ugly like their asses do. But you do have to you do have to be able to what does the card say? Um, usually in a re usually, you know, react to, with a remark of, of deemed wickedly pointed and with some degree of truth. So that's when you just basically you let a bitch have it. So this could be somebody that you let have it. That doesn't like that. This person wants to this person wants to take you down like that. Somebody wants to. But it's in a reverse of their, their possibility. This person, these people, I keep saying this person, but I really feel like it's two. The Bonnie and Clyde back at it again. Mick and Mallory. Okay. They hate the fact that you stay so snatched. Okay. What's snatched? Glennis, that tracksuit is snatched. Good looking, stylish, tasteful, fashionable, enviable. Bay, fire, Gucci, on fleek and on point. They don't like that about you. Okay. They want to cancel you, but hashtag cancel. It can't happen. And then that leaves them shook. Okay. So let's get on with this. We're 20 minutes in. Let's see if we can get some signs out here with the uh, majors deck here. Uh, 
I'm telling you now. If the fool card or the the hermit. Okay, so we're talking about a hermit. I was gonna say something. Well, we're out of Aries. Okay, so now we're we're out of the month of Aries. Okay, so we're talking about a Virgo. I'm picking up on two people and a Leo, a Virgo and a Leo. Mm -hmm. We got a Virgo and a Leo. This Bonnie and Clyde. Um, Got me a down ass nigga on my team. Bonnie and Clyde theme. Hey, boom, boom. we're talking about Ice Cube again. What does rap have to do with that? These people are moving forward with something. Mm -hmm. They're moving forward with something. I just said they could be moving on behalf of somebody. An Aries or a karmic masculine that's already had a tower or two people. What I was going to say is that I hope Aries and Pisces didn't come out for this reading. But obviously, there they go. Aries and Pisces have met with a tower. With a tower. These people could also be a part of some type of coven or secret society. So I guess... So these two people have already met a tower. This Aries and Pisces energy. I'm telling you, I was sitting here thinking that's why I was like, if these cards come out. But now, so th now that these two motherfuckers, so these two people have already taken a fall from grace. They're a part of their secret society or coven. This is the truth, Ruth. So these two people possibly blame you for what has happened to them. And mind you, Aries and Pisces, take the energy as it resonates. I think that those signs are very significant, though. I just do. Okay? They decided, well, it's got to be your fault that they met with this tower in the reverse. For whatever reason, these two motherfuckers ain't coming back towards you. They probably know better. So they sent these two bastards, a, a Leo and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a Virgo, to come after you. And these motherfuckers said, I'll do it. They feel like there's going to be some type of victory here. They're moving straight. They're just moving forward with this shit. So what we're, I'm going to give you, this is this is where you get the heads up about what their plans are. Okay? But we're going to get some more context around who these people are. Ants. 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 Part of some type of underground society. I'm telling you, that's because I just looked at it again. A, a unity, teamwork, and unwavering diligence. These people have committed themselves to uh, to getting revenge. Now it's a vendetta. Now they're take now it's personal. Somebody's spying on you. So they've been spying on you. Okay? They now it's personal. <laughs> now it's personal because they they these are the people the, the, now if we've been following this storyline that I've been that I've been reporting on, okay? It this is an ongoing story of an Aries and Pisces, masculine and feminine or whatever the fuck. Male or female, male male, girl girl, girl girl, who gives a fuck? These two fucking karmic crackheads that are part of some secret society have been attacking people in the collective for a long time now. Now, what do I, what are my personal thoughts about this? Is that there's are these the same two people? They could possibly be. I feel like these are that this Aries, this karmic Aries, and this karmic Pisces are a part. They are the, they've been at the helm. I keep hearing the word helm. So that's the people that are in the front that got, that are com commandeering these people. These two people could have possibly been the leaders of this secret coven backed by some secret society. I feel like one of these two, if not both of these people, I'm picking up that one of these, one of the areas of the Pisces energy were a part of some type of secret society, whether that be the Illuminati, whether or not, whether that be the Freemasons, Eastern stars, something like that. They were a part of that. One of those secret, uh, you know, secret societies they were, and they used, and they used that, power that they had from these secret societies to start their own shit that's what i think happened i feel like that whatever they've been starting whatever they started uh was was started to what am i hearing to attack people with gifts 
to 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 to, to harness gifts from people, to siphon gifts, um, and also to exploit people and their gifts for money. Somebody's a dark witch. Somebody's about to learn a motherfucking lesson. They're going to learn today. A demon. Somebody's hacking your phone, computer, Wi-Fi. Somebody's not the father. Somebody's gang stalking the fuck out of you. And somebody that's never graduated from college. And somebody that's a Capricorn. Arizona's significant as well. Somebody's going to get shot. I just heard that. I heard somebody's going to get shot today. Not wishing that on nobody. I don't know where this is going to happen or when it's going to happen, but I just heard somebody's going to get shot. Multiple times I just heard. Somebody's going to learn today, though. That's going to be that's going to be a V for Vendetta. Arizona is very significant. I don't know why. And that doesn't even, again, that doesn't even belong in here. Somebody's a Capricorn. Somebody never graduated from college. Uh, with that card, that means that somebody never grad. This somebody lies about lied about their qualifications. Somebody could have actually lied about going to college, uh, but somebody's gang stalking the fuck out of you, and somebody's not the father, whatever that means. Oh shit! All right, let's see. Who are you though? You want to know who you are? I got you. Can I get a card for whoever the collective is? Nissans are very significant as well. Okay? That's the truth, Ruth. Nissans are very significant. I got to readjust this. Is this? There we go. I had to get a different chair. I'm not going to get one now, though. I just have to wait. Twenty seven hundred on the clock when I look down. Somebody could be the age twenty seven. Somebody could live on the twenty seven hundred block of somewhere I just heard. Somebody's address could start with two seven. Two seven something. That's what I just heard. Or some variation of that twenty seven seventy two. But twenty seven is in somebody's address. That's the truth, Ruth. That's what I just heard. Somebody's name could be Tony or Anthony. Somebody's a Don Juan. You are. Spotlight your positive, seductive quality. So you could be a masculine or feminine energy. You know, uh, we're, we're trying to be gender neutral around here because I want people to not be turned off by, uh, you know, terms of male or female. But sometimes it's just like that. You just got to know how to discern some shit and you're being attacked by some type of demon I said a demon angel in the reverse because they view you as the messiah and they're using alchemy in the reverse to come against you the misuse of power and knowledge that comes from spiritual practices so you have people that are a part I'm telling you a part of some secret coven demonic coven of alchemists you got a bunch of people sitting around um, and they act innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. But they're actually being um, they're actually being operated by demonic energies serving humanity with humility. I feel like this. I feel like these people, like I said, go after now Don Juan. You don't have to be a Don Juan. The, the letters D and J could be very significant. J and D. Juan could be very significant. Donald could be very significant. These names are very significant that I'm hearing. I said, who are you? They do view you as some type. You could be viewed as some type of Don Juan. You could do. I mean, all that means is that you're very attractive. You're very charming. You have a way with men or women. Um, there's something very seductive about you that people like a quality. It's very seductive. That's what I heard. Uh, but the Messiah, you're not Jesus, but you are somebody here to serve humanity with humility. You are somebody here to with gifts. I'm telling you, they attack people with gifts and they, and, and they use Don Juan energies to come towards you. I just heard that you're the Don Juan that God used for them. <laughs> you're the Don Juan. You're the Don Juan. Why they thought that they, I just heard, <laughs> I just heard why they thought they was pimping your ass out. 
Jay was actually you you were you you were the John for God. Okay, you've been the John for God. Hello. <laughs> Not you know you y'all know what I'm saying though. You feel me? Like yeah. They thought they was pimping your ass out, but they was actually being pimped out. You were the bait. Hidden in plain sight. See, motherfuckers need to start recognizing that shit. I feel like they knew who you were, like as far as your spiritual gifts are. The Messiah talks about people that comes along to free people, to wake people up through knowledge. Through light. But I don't really feel like they really knew how deep this cause Messiah, for Messiah to come out, that's that's some deep shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Again, you're not Jesus, but what are my thoughts on that? I feel like this time, like I said before, there's a bunch of Jesuses in that sense running around this earth. They just are. And so they've been trying to take out all these different Jesuses. There's a bunch of different messiahs running around here. A bunch of them. And did you hear that horn? Confirmation. But what but what but what I feel like they what they fail to realize is this. I feel like they're trying to track down the main Messiah to end it all like they did with Jesus, but they don't, but, the, but you know, within reason, I'm going to say what I got to say, but I feel like they don't recognize the fact, they don't realize that this time there's more than one in that sense, not the Jesus Christ, you feel me? But there are those that have been sent back to lead the masses. So if we got... 12 tribes of 12,000. Let's just say that. I'm just using that as an arbitrary number. You got 12 people that are going to lead those 12 tribes. You feel me? I keep hearing seven. I've been hearing seven for quite some time. One in each continent. I feel like these people know that. Or they're figuring it out. So this is a vendetta. Okay? Okay. Let me just get to what the fuck these ignorant bitches are trying to do so that we can close out this reading and I can upload it to give you a heads up. What are these fucking scabs planning on doing? So for so for them to so for them to feel like that, if this provides you with any type of confirmation or comfort, for them to feel like they gotta do this, this means that. The two people that were coming up against you or the person that was coming up against you has taken a fall with the tower in the reverse. They've taken a fall. So two karmics out of the way. The two main karmics that have been fucking and going around. I, I feel like the two main karmics that were going around doing the most have been are now doing the least. But we all know that this is an ongoing spiritual war. So they're going to keep sending out just like they just like. We got lesions of ain't legions, lesions. Somebody's sick. Some one of these one of somebody's sick. Somebody got lesions or will be having them. But just like we have legions of angels that protect us, they got legions of demons that are at their beck and call. And they're sending them out. One by one by one by one by one. All right. Ten of swords. I'm telling you, this is the plan. Here we go again. The Ten of Swords. They are planning to do something. Yeah. The, the whole goal is to end, to end you. To cancel you. Hashtag cancel. The Queen of Pentacles fell out in the reverse. And then the Five of Cups came out with. So it's because some Queen of Pentacles energy is in regret. Or will be in regret. Pisces energy. The Hangman. So tell us about the Ten of Swords. I asked for the plan. The plan is to end something for you. Possibly something that has to do with your money, your business, your home, uh, your stability. Because the Queen of Pentacles talks about stability. Business. Stability in business. Stability in home. Stability in parenting. Your, 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 uh, uh, your gift to birth things. Your fertility. Male or female. You feel me? They they want you to be crying over spilled milk. They're trying they're trying to put you in a state of regret, remorse by sacrificing you. Possibly by even killing you. These people are scared. Except the four of swords. It's not gonna work though, but they're very anxious. 
You could be very anxious right now. You could be feeling this anxious energy. I feel like the Four of Swords in the reverse talks about what they're what they're feeling. Ten of Cups. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. To the Ten of Cups. Hangman. They're going to use somebody in your family. The emperor. Clarify the emperor. Playing from Dwayne's A15. This fell sideways. Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups to the emperor. We got the Six of Pentacles here to the Will of Fortune in the reverse as it as it to the Six of Cups to the same. Whoever this emperor is could be your father, could be an uncle, somebody that you either don't remember or have or don't have very good memories. It's kind of like either you kind of remember this person or you don't remember this person. The Six of Pentacles talks about giving and receiving. This is somebody who you don't, who never gave you anything. They're going to use this person. This could be your father or your father could be the emperor. I don't know, but they're going to use a family member um, to come towards you or to, or to get to you to, 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 to create this ending. They could be trying to use like a father figure or somebody to cut you off. You know, we hate to think about, you know, parents or people like this doing that kind of stuff to us, but. You know, it is what it is. This also talks about an Aries. They could be using an Aries to come towards you. This is somebody that maybe you have good uh, because the Six of Cups in the in the side falling sideways tells me that either you know somebody and you or either you do kind of remember somebody or you don't remember them or you don't have good memories with this person. There's something off about the memories, how you view this person, what they've done for you, whatever they didn't do for you, you remember that. The Will of Fortune in the reverse. That's what that means. Maybe you had good memories with this person, but then they did something, they cut you off or they took something from you, which created a bad memory or they didn't do enough for you. They didn't do for you. So we could be talking about your dad. Yeah. Two of Pentacles here. Clarify the two of Pentacles. This, this. Whoever this emperor energy is or this Aries energy, you don't. Yeah, King of Cups. This is somebody that talks about a father energy. Um, this person probably, I don't know, wasn't there for you or something like that. You might have been this. This person might have kept you a secret, possibly because you were, you know, this is who your mother is. Maybe they were some third party shit. I don't know. But the Queen of Cups in the reverse talks about a dark witch bitch. Aries energy again. So this could be talk. We could be talking about an Aries. A masculine Aries and a feminine energy. I don't know. Take the energy as it resonates. But they're going to use this person from your family. This person is part of your family. This person does. Dark. You probably come from a whole family full of dark magicians. That's what that means with the Ace of Wands and the reverse. You come from a family of people who do this shit. You didn't know this. You didn't know this. Empress in the reverse as well. You could be being blocked from these people as well. There's a mother figure and a father figure out here. The emperor and the empress in the reverse. Your mother could be very toxic. Does a lot of dark magic to win. Could be. There's a lot of fucking energy going on in this particular reading. They're trying to use your family though. This organization is trying to use your family. I'm pretty sure we already know this. But this is what they're going to plan to do. What's the, what's the rest of this plan? They're going to use your family to try to take you out. Eight of Cups. Spirit saying that um, you're about to walk into some wish fulfillment.
They don't. They know they've been alarmed to that. You're walking into your north node. That's why they want to hurt you. They're trying to. They're trying. They're trying to. You're about to walk into some very. You're about to walk into some truth, which is going to take you to your north node. Spirit says that's the truth, and it's going to release some money. It's going to release something, something, some type of abundance. You're about to walk walk into some type of. This is you. They're trying to cut you, cut you off at the pass. Spirit said at the path or whatever, cut you off at the pass. My nose agent. I'm trying to tell you right now that you're about to walk into some type of truth and then you are protected. This is setting off alarms for these people, or maybe you should be careful. That started, you know, 101 PM. That's a sign of synchronicity as well. They're trying, they're trying to stop you. So you see, check this out. Eight of Cups to the Ace of Swords to the Knight of Swords. See what's in the middle of your Ace of Pentacles being released to you? I'm telling you. These are, these are we got we got the Ace of Swords and to the Ace of Pentacles as it pertains to what you're walking into. What's going to be released to you? These people are still trying to stop you. There they are. All right. They're trying to, they put a hitman. I'm trying to tell you, they got somebody, they got somebody, not a hitman, but they got somebody. I just heard they got somebody posted waiting to strike. They made an agreement. Some type of deal was made for this person to stop you to a cups. They got paid to do it, I'm telling you. There they go again. Okay, this person is waiting, hiding. This person's hiding. Could be a Virgo, I told you. Hold on, I gotta use the I gotta use the little boys room. Alright, so there's somebody there's some, somebody somebody agreed the knight of swords energy could be a gemini libra Chris. i don't think so i think this is a, a virgo like i said it's been paid collaborating took some money to 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 take you out the hermit also talks about somebody hiding in hiding yeah i cannot make this shit up hiding the sun in the reverse spirit says that's the truth because they don't want you to get something. Something's coming your way. They're trying to stop that. They're trying to cause something unexpected for you. I cannot make this shit up. Listen. This is the high priestess to the three, to the three of wands. They're doing some work so that you don't see it coming. It's a secret. I'm telling you. They're doing some work so that you don't see this person coming towards you with this drama. But Spirit is saying... This person is, you're going to be selling, you're going to, you're safe from it. You're safe from it. They're hot on your tail though. This, this drama, they keep trying to meet you with this drama, but you keep selling off. You're going to sell it. You're going to, you're going to be selling off to Karma Waters away from these people. Bad news for them and they don't get it. They are not, not going to get something. They're wasting their time. We got the page of pentacles and the page of wands out here. That's the, whoever this person is. I feel like uh, I feel like this person hasn't been paid yet. I feel like if they did receive some type of payment, it wasn't very much. But what they're waiting on is for this to occur. They're waiting for this person to do the job, and then they can then this then this is what they're going to get. But you see, this is in the reverse. They're not going to get anything. They're still sending somebody after you. Is what I'm hearing to cause you this tower. They're hoping that you don't, you don't see it coming. They're hoping that you don't see it coming. They've been doing work to work against your intuition, to block your intuition. You could be under a lot of stress right now. You could be having a lot of gang stalking, noise campaigns. All that shit is a distraction to, 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 to distract you from what you're, what, what you're hearing, to distract you from using your intuition. They're not, but they're not going to, it's not going to happen for them. Bad news for them, whoever this person is, okay? Whoever this person is, there's two people here, though. I'm telling you, though, there's a Leo here. There's a Leo also behind the scenes with this Virgo. 
Or does it, it could just be a Leo. I'm picking up on two people though. Yeah, page of swords. They're not. They're not gonna. They, they, they sent a bunch of page, like a bunch of pages. There could be a number of different people. There could be a page of pentacles, a page of wands, and a page of swords. There could be like three, th three to four different young little young ass niggas that are that they've sent after you this time. It could be a lot of pages. They sent some pages after a messiah. Make that make sense? They sent pages after a messiah energy. If you're if you're walking in your messiah energy. You're serving humanity. You're serving humility. The Messiah talks about when we talk about a Messiah, we're talking about somebody that God sent here. OK. They're about to be in some serious mental entrapment. They could jail the nine of swords, jail energy. Spirit says that's the truth. Magic backfire, return to sender, whatever. Yep. Hitman energy. It's not going to happen. It's going back to them. It's going back to them. Let's get an Archangel Michael prayer card out here. They sent they 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 got a bunch of they got a bunch of pages coming after you. A bunch of pages and knights. I feel like they I feel like um they've un, unleashed the Kraken. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could like to really drink rum, rum and coke, but I feel like they released the Kraken. Like they sent out their legion of demons. They just sent out another legion of demons and they're going to be taken down. Psalms 91, uh, you should probably read. I should probably read that shit to, again today too. For those of us that don't understand, Psalms are, Psalms are spells. Okay? <laughs> it's a whole spell book. <laughs> I like Psalms 31, really. But I, Psalms 91 is always a good one too. Believe and trust. Hello. From Archangel Michael. My prayer. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Archangel Michael, this sword, the sword of Archangel Michael's out here. You are protected against these fucking idiots. They got a whole legion of little dark witches and warlocks coming after you, but I'm picking up heavily on male energy. You could have people standing outside of your house. You could have people following you around. Uh, this time it's personal though. So I would ask, what am I hearing? I would ask you to ask God to, uh, dress you in his armor. Trust and believe. It's time to leave an unhealthy situation. You're about to, you're about to, you're about to leave an unhealthy situation. These people are about to, because they're going to, they, what I'm picking up on is that they're not going to stop. So if you are somebody that's targeted and you are getting, and these people are getting karma, that's got God bumps. You know, what's shitty is that, so we are, you know, we are targeted individuals and it is hard as fuck. In all seriousness, it's hard, you know. It's hard when everybody knows where you live, know where you knows where you go. We're on the radar. So we got two prayers here. It's so hard because it's it is. It's like this is where this is where trust and faith comes in. I'm just telling you. So if you're out there this morning and you're feeling targeted, you're feeling gang stalked by your neighbors, your family. But most importantly, what I'm picking up on are people in your fucking communities. These fucking rats. You know what I'm saying? These fucking bullshit ass neighbors that, that, that take bags of dope to fucking stalk you and harass you to do noise campaigns. We all want to be rescued. Some people will say, well, that sounds weak. Well, say what you want. We have trust and faith and hope that we will be rescued. We will be taken from this unhealthy situation or situations. Because now it's to the point to where when, when people, so people, people in your energy, people that have been doing the worst things to you, when they begin to get their karma because they're so riddled in, in, with, with demonic energies within them, 
they don't stop. They don't get it. It becomes a personal vendetta. V for vendetta. I'm telling you, that's what I heard. Now it's a vendetta. So now what do they do? You know, you could be stuck in the same place. You could be stuck in the same apartment, the same house, the same environment. And they keep, they're going to, they, they're, they're sending everybody now to come against you, to towards you. That's what I'm seeing. They've amped it up, ramped it up. These people are getting paid to do this. Because when you, when you, when you step into your North Node, when you realize that you are the, the light amongst dark people your light begins to expose everything dark around you it doesn't even have to do it, it a lot of times what you, what you're going to see it, it, is that it has nothing a lot of what you expose because of your light has nothing to do with you but everything to do with your light So it's kind of like, say you lose your keys in somebody's house, like you can't find your keys and everybody, you're like, I need to find my keys. I got to go home. I got to use you know, my car, blah, blah, blah. And people start to help you look for your keys. They stumble upon something in somebody's house that they should have never found. Something that could implicate a person in a crime. A motherfucker could find a dead body. Okay. Or what you might find is that somebody might stumble upon a bunch of other people's keys. That people thought that they lost but were actually stolen from a person. I don't know why that, that's significant, but that's very significant, I just heard. So it's actually, you know, you're, you're, just, you're just doing you. You just, you know... Your light, though, is what is exposing everything around you. Mm -hmm. And so now everybody wants to get rid of you, even in your communities, within your families. They realize that your light, your light is exposing a lot of their demons. And when we say demons, we're talking about sometimes when people say, but you know, their light is your light's irritating their demons, but it's because you're exposing their demons and demons are not just the demons that are within people, but demons are things that people have hidden that they've, that they continue to hide demons, skeletons in the closet. Once you awaken and once your light becomes so bright, it is everybody knows people that come around, you know, that if they got something to hide, they are going to be exposed. If you are in a community of people, things that they're doing to not just you, but in their own personal lives are being exposed. And that's why it's so personal now, because these people don't realize, like, if they just left you the fuck alone, then you wouldn't they wouldn't be exposed. That's when you have to realize that you are the moth. You are the flame that the moths are attracted to. You're the target that people keep shooting at that they just can't hit the middle of, the bullseye. You're the sideshow that people can't stop looking at. They getting in, they, they do, because they can't mind their fucking business. They're too busy trying to see what you're doing. They're getting into car wrecks. It's like that rubber neck and shit. You got people, when you walk down the street, motherfuckers can't stop looking. So they, they get into an accident. Now, yep, now they dumb asses caught up. Because us as light workers, what we understand is that what somebody walking down the street doing ain't got nothing to do with us. But your light is exposing who the fuck they truly are. Everybody in your community. That's why they want to get rid of you. That's why they want to get rid of you. It's time to leave. An, uh, it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Archangel Michael has said it. My prayer, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy choices, changes in my life. I feel like Archangel Michael is going to remove people. 
and I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be shitty or nothing, but this message is obviously not going to be for everybody. Take the energy as it resonates. Everybody has, is going to have their time, I suppose, in one way, shape, or form. A lot of us are stuck in situations where we don't know how we're going to get out of stuff. You know? I'm telling you now, my, my situation is very kind of like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do at this point? I've tried to do everything I can do, and the enemy has control over certain things um, that are a part of my life, but not in my life. You feel me? That's why you got to just have faith. You got to, you know, pray. You got to talk to God. You got to ask your ancestors. You got to ask your spirit team. You got to ask for help. They, these, these, these cries for help do not go unheard. The enemy wants you to think that they do because that's why all the noise campaigning goes on. That's why all this harassment goes on because all that is is, is just a tool that the enemy uses so that you can lose faith. Because what is the average person going to think? Well, if God's in, God's in my life, why is he allowing this to happen to me? Obviously, God is not there. That's not true. The enemy is just using people to make you believe that. We are all tested. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Archangel Michael. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner, wis uh, inner vision and intention. I almost said wisdom, so throw that in there. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. What did I just say? My nose is itching off the chain today, y'all. That's what I'm telling you. We are all being tested. Every day. For those of you guys out there that think that I don't, you know, have my test every day, you a damn lie. I do. I'm tested every damn day. I am. In every single way, shape, or form that you can imagine. But I'm going to tell you that it's what it, what, it, what it all comes down to is this. Come on. Come on. You want to jump up here or not? Come on. Fat ass. We're being tested daily. If you feel if you feel like if you feel like you are on the verge of um, some type of great abundance, should you be in expectation mode? I don't see why you shouldn't be. But don't be in expectation mode based upon what you what you What's going on around you? We're not we're not here to test God. We're not. The most high God is not. <laughs> what am I hearing? I'm hearing something that's the most high God's not on a trial period. We are. The most high God wants to see, just like we're we're tested every day. How how much does this person test me before I give them any damn thing, before I remove them from anywhere? Do you still believe that God is going to work for you when motherfuckers are still harassing you, when things are going to seem to be going very poor for, poorly for you? Do you still believe that the Most High God is going to do that for you? Or do you get mad at God and go, well, fuck it. He must not exist any damn way because why is all the rest of this shit happening? No, God wants to make sure that whatever he gives you, you know that it, it, you deserve it. I don't give a fuck what nobody say about that shit. For you to sit around and go... Yeah, I believe that God's going to work for me. I believe it when he does this. Then you are not going to get a motherfucking thing. And you shouldn't. That's just my opinion. You shouldn't get a motherfucking thing if you're sitting around thinking, well, yeah, I believe, I, I believe that God exists. I believe it when he does this. Well, then you're not going to get a motherfucking thing and you don't deserve it. That's how I feel about it. Am I happy about the shit that God is allowing to happen to me? Fuck no, I'm not. But I still, but I know that God is allowing it. I know that that's a test for me to see if I'm still going to remain faithful. 
if I'm still going to get up every morning and, and show gratitude to the most high God, even though I know he's allowing things bad to happen to me. Because I understand the shit that the bad things that are happening to me is, is, is because of what people, what he's allowing people to do. I'm not perfect by any means, but I'm telling you now that I don't have bad things going on in my life right now because of my choices. I'm done with those days. I've learned and I'm grown. I've grown from those fucking days. Not saying that we're perfect. No, but I'm not doing anything to attract this negative energy, but shining brightly. These motherfuckers are being exposed for who they are and what the fuck they've been doing to me and other people. I'm not a victim to this shit anymore. I'm not a victim to my own circumstances or my choices anymore. I'm making better choices, more progressive choices, healthier choices in my life. And see what the most high God wants to do is wants to see how, 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 how much faith do you have in not just yourself, but him? How quickly are you willing to flip and go back to old, destructive, unhealthy ways? That's what I'm hearing. These people aren't going to be able to touch you because you are being used as a messiah. You're going to be removed from these destructive places and people, unhealthy environments. You're going to be removed from that. When you pass the test, we all have to work being tested every day. If it's, it, you can be faithful for 99 days and on that hundredth day you wake up and you're like, it ain't happened yet. I don't believe in God. It's never going to happen for me. Well, you just blew it. Because on that hundredth day, you were supposed to probably receive that blessing. But you woke up ungrateful. You woke up very unhappy. You woke up paying attention to your environment and your struggles as opposed to how you should overcome these struggles and how you should remain temperate and faithful in your environment. You fucked it up. That's what these people are counting on. Do not become a victim of your environment and your circumstances to fuck up your blessings or, for, or to fuck up you getting removed from a negative environment. Yes, God is patient. God is love. God is all these good things. But God is also God got feelings, too. You feel me? We're talking. To, I've been hearing a lot these days about investments. Fifty five on the clock. When I look down, I've been hearing a lot about investments. How the most high mother and father want to make investments into people. But what's the point of making an investment into anything or anyone when it's there's not there's not going to be a viable return on an investment? God is not just going to remove you from a bad situation so that you can go and be toxic all over again. Or so that you can go, yep, I've been removed. I got things that are better for me now. So good. I'm good. I ain't got to show gratitude. I ain't got to show. I ain't got to show no grace to nobody. I ain't got to share with nobody. I can be selfish like these people. God's not going to do that. I just felt like, you no, know, I'm telling you, that's what these people are doing. That's why they keep coming against you. They're trying to ruin your faith. They're trying to show you that God doesn't exist for you. Although God's been working for you. Their lowercase g didn't work for them or this fucking Pisces and Aries that got caught the fuck up in your life. Or in our lives. But they're sending people after you to ruin your faith. They, they keep testing. They keep testing how the, the one thing that's protecting you against these people is your faith. Do not lose that. These people don't have faith in God. They, they keep getting shown time and time again. They cannot win against God. And if God is using you and they keep coming against you, then they lose. But they only lose so much as you know that you have God working for you. That God is going to work for you, but you got to do the work for God. If God is using you to trap these fucking people or to show these people that they ain't about shit or that, they, or that they're going to go to hell or whatever the case may be. If God is using you for the, 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 to be the, the sticky paper for these mice. That syrup for the ants to take it back, then you better do your fucking job and stop bitching and moaning, but still keep your faith. God has not let me down at all. Again, are things where I want them to be right now? Nope. But am I where I want to be right now? Not really. No, but I'm with God, too. So I'm OK. You feel me? So fuck their V for vendetta. Their vendetta is with God. Wash your hands with it and keep moving forward. Keep your eyes on your intentions. Focus on your intentions. That's what that means. Their problem isn't really with you. It's with God. Let, let God handle it.
V for vendetta, my ass. These bitches running around here trying to cause all kinds of... They want, to, they want revenge because they're getting caught. Let them take that up with God. Be safe. Be vigilant. Be smart. But don't get involved in it. Don't be afraid. They've already dug their own graves. And for these little ass niggas and bitches that they got running around you trying to scare you, they done dug their own graves too. The people in your communities, in your neighborhood, your apartment community, your, your blocks, the city block or whatever the fuck, they dug their own motherfucking grave too. So now they mad that they dug their own grave. They don't take the hint. The dark magic that they're sending your way, these hit men, these attacks, they have not taken you out. You still show up every day. They don't get it. It's not going to work. But it's got to work because they've dug their own graves and there ain't no getting out of that. Allow God to continue to keep using you. What's the point of giving you a, a, a big a, a big blessing of abundance for you to stay right where you are so these people can attack you even harder? They're just they're not going to stop. It's V for Vendetta. Vendetta. What that means is that it goes on and on and on. They're going to continue to keep doing it. But at this point, what do we learn now? That they're that that we are of God and that we're being used by God. And so that V for Vendetta is for is that. But that's between them and God. Continue to keep thinking that. Know that. Have faith in that. You feel me? You got to remain faithful. That's even for me too. So don't think that I'm sitting around here just telling you and preaching shit to you that I don't go through or that I don't understand. That's bullshit. Yes, I do. Every day I get up and I, and I have to fight this spiritual. I fight it when I'm sleeping. I fight it when I'm up. I fight my own demons. I fight the demons that people send me. But I remain faithful. I know that the most High God got me. Do I always know how? No, I don't. But I understand what faith is, blind faith. You got to have that. That's the ultimate kind of faith you can show God that you have that no matter what you know that God got you. That's what's going to get you through. That's why these people are losing because they don't believe in God like you do. They don't believe in God, period. They believe in something other than God. But God's, I, I've said it a million times. God is about to show these motherfuckers that, he's, that he exists. It's already started. You're still alive. You're still breathing. God is showing these motherfucking people. They didn't want to take that hint. So they're going to keep coming. And they're going to keep getting taken the fuck out. You feel me? That's the end of this message. I hope this message helped you. I get, hope it gave you a heads up as to what the fuck your enemies are doing or the people that made you enemies or the people that have these vendettas against you. They're still plotting and planning and strategizing, but you continue to keep plot, planning and strategizing with the universe and with the Most High God. Co-create with the Most High God. Don't co-create with the conflict and the chaos and the bullshit that you got going on around you. You feel me? That's the end of this message. I'm your Uncle 7-9, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. It's always take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Deuces.